Hi everybody, if you don't know who I am, I'm Vanessa's boyfriend, my name is Alan. I'm making this video at her request. Over the past year, we've really been talking about getting married and um, yeah, she really wanted me to film the process of what I am considering uh, proposing to her. So in about uh, a month, we're gonna be heading to the UK and I intend to propose to her while we're there. And over the weekend, I was able to talk to her dad and uh, was able to receive his blessing. So I'm gonna have you guys join me while I get this ring. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for the process. So here we go. So I just got back from the jeweler. Uh, I was able to find a ring that was uh, within our budget, which is pretty good. Uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a couple weeks. So a little bit of an update for you guys. I was able to book a photographer for the proposal, which is uh, one of the things that Vanessa had asked for. Um, and it's been super useful because I don't really know London. We're really looking forward to this trip, but I wasn't sure where exactly I would do it. And so the photographer suggested that a great place would be Greenwich Park. And it works out perfectly because Vanessa has um, told me that she wants it to be somewhere in public, but not overly crowded and it's more intimate. And so one of the things that I really wanted was our photo shoot to really showcase that we were in London. This trip has been really significant for us. We were supposed to go pre-pandemic and now three years later, we're here. Um, so I really want the photos to shout that we were in London. Uh, so I think Greenwich Park is perfect because it showcases that green space while it has the uh, London skyline in the background and it's gonna be a great shot. So I'm pretty excited. All right, guys, so the uh, ring finally arrived. So I'm just heading there now to go pick it up and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. What's up guys? I wanted to give you another update. Uh, I finally figured out how exactly I'm going to do the proposal and I'm gonna tell you. Um, so over the years, Vanessa and I have dated, um, we used to write each other letters. So uh, I thought maybe I would bring that back. Uh, the first letters we wrote to each other were when we were in elementary school, so grade seven and eight. And um, I haven't written her a letter since high school, but I thought maybe it would be pretty uh, cute. Uh, and fun and personal to, to write these letters for her. And so what I plan to do is write three letters, take her to different um, locations within London and uh, have our tripod set up uh, and tell her that I, you know, want to shoot a video for, uh, for her channel. Morning has been such a surreal morning, but you guys, 
We're engaged. We are gonna do a little sit down chat when we get back to the room later. We're kind of just trying to take in and enjoy the day, but we will catch you guys up on everything that happened and how it all went down. I can't wait to chat about it and show you guys and tell you. We are currently in London and ah, today is the day we got engaged and Alan already kind of posted about it on his Instagram story. Yeah, I mean, I, I already told a lot of my friends and her friends uh, as well as her parents, but there's still uh, some people that we have to reach out to and let know. So. Like my grandparents, they don't have Instagram obviously, so we wanted to call them and tell them now as well as just call a few friends and family and like tell them, I guess kind of face to face since like I haven't talked to any of them since it's happened. So that's what we're going to do right now. You have the camera right to the Yep, face. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna pick up. Hi. Hello. Oh, <laughs> um, is Grandpa there? Yeah. Hold on. Where are ya? Nancy. Oh, I think I know. What <laughs> we have something to tell you. I think I know what to tell you. Uh, I did it in Greenwich Park. Okay, next up we are calling my parents, my mom and dad. They already know, but we thought we'd talk to them too. Hi! Hello! Hi. It's just me! Dad's not here! Where's dad? He's at the gym. Oh, oh well, that that's sucks. Okay. We, can call, we can call later. Can I call again? Yeah. yeah, we can call again later. I can't see. Well, okay, yeah, because it's too big, yeah. but it's so pretty! It's beautiful. It is. I heard you helped a bit. We are currently trying to group FaceTime Alan's sisters and seeing if it'll work. I'm currently calling Yaz. I'm hoping she picks up. Hi. Hello. Hi, do you know what I am calling to tell you? I think so. <laughs> Shut up. That's so pretty. <gasps> Hi. Thank you. He did it this morning, so it's currently 6.30 for us, but... All right, you guys, we are obviously back home from London now, but we are engaged. I wanted to talk a little bit about like Alan's plan and like how everything happened, like what happened day of. I was a little bit surprised, but I also had major intuition that it was going to happen in London. Yeah, I mean, I, I made it a little bit obvious um, in the sense that months ago, before I even had planned this proposal, I told Vanessa that I wanted to take photos. When we went to California, all of our photos are selfies. We we asked a couple of people to take photos for us. If you've ever traveled, you, you might know the feeling of having somebody take photos for you is a little awkward asking public. And so I told Vanessa, I said, hey, you know, I do photography on the side and I just want to like take some time to take some nice photos of us while we're here because we got a little adventure book going and I wanted to add to that. And so without thinking about the proposal, I wanted to use that uh, as my reason. And so I told her that we were going to take photos and that's where I had planned to do the proposal. Yeah, so like leading up he kept asking me about like bringing a tripod and I was kind of like onto it a little bit and even just like dressing up and stuff day up but I feel like I was yeah. still really surprised like I ended up crying I bawled I feel like I'm an emotional baby in that yeah way. yeah she you'll see the video but, yeah uh, you, were... I mean, you can't tell that I'm crying in it but like I was like tearing like happy yeah. tears I feel like my face just didn't know what to do but like that whole day afterwards I was in pretty much shock like I kept saying like Oh, like, yeah. it was so perfect. Yeah. I can't believe that this happened. And yeah. Uh, as, as being a, her boyfriend for seven years, yeah, almost, almost eight, eight. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten that much affirmation from her in one day. <laughs> so just constantly telling me, you know, I did such a good job and, you know, it was perfect, which for me, it was great because I was just so anxious that um, I didn't have enough time to plan it. I mean, I only really had a month before our trip and... I was worried that I was missing something or, you know, it wasn't to her standard and, um, you know, a funny story is uh, Vanessa and I went for a walk and she randomly told me before I had planned anything for this proposal that, you know, how you do it is perfect and I trust you and, and that made me feel really confident in my decisions and so I kept holding on to that. Uh, through the whole process. So. Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely the type of person that always had an idea of like what I wanted and like something that was like very private, like I didn't want people around and like 
always thought I wanted something really big and romantic, like lots of flowers and candles, but I guess I've also kind of understood that that's a little tacky, and the way that you did it was so personal, and I loved it. Yeah, so, um, as I explained before, with the, the letters, Vanessa and I have written, written many letters to each other uh, throughout high school and starting in elementary school as, as younger kids, and I thought, one of the things that I searched up online, I know, I searched up how to do a proposal, and some of the th tips that they gave were to be very personal, romantic, and um, yeah, things that are just, that hit home. And these letters were something that I thought maybe would be cool to bring back. And uh, I had a vision of also taking videos while we did it, and so I took her to different locations in London that I thought were pretty cool where I would do it, and on the third letter, uh, I told her to open it, and that's where nothing was written, and I had a verbal spiel, and then I asked her uh, to be my wife. And so she obviously said yes, which I'm very thankful for. And the ring turned out great. It was perfect in her, uh, in her <laughs> words. So that's really good. Yeah. All right, I am kicking Alan off frame for a minute so that us girlies can chat. But in terms of the ring, I had shown him pictures of a few that I like liked back in, I want to say January, February, like late January, early February. And that was it. He fully designed it himself, you guys. I was shook he did so amazing so perfect like i was just so overwhelmed like i was saying literally that entire day i just i kept repeating like this is so perfect you did such a good job i was just in so awe the fact that it happened and he did such a good job you guys in terms of getting me dressed up and stuff, like Alan had mentioned, he had repeatedly kept saying that he wanted to take really nice photos while we were in London. And it's pretty easy because of my job, I feel like, to get me dressed up and put on a nice outfit. But also the breakfast place that we went to, which was chef's kiss amazing, duck and waffle in London, highly recommend. But it has a smart casual dress code and like they can refuse anyone upon entry if you are kind of like not up to their standards. So. I was also like, okay, well like, yeah, let's dress up, of course, like I don't want to be turned away, we're kind of on a timeline that day, we had City Pass stuff that we were doing later that day, and so I was like, I do not want to be turned away, let's get dressed up. So that's kind of how he got me dressed up and got me there, but it was absolutely beautiful in Greenwich Park near the observatory, like I could not have asked for anything more, it was just so perfect. I feel like I was a little bit jumbled for the rest of the day and that's why the vlog portion is a little bit of a mess, but we ended up going to Hedden Street Kitchen for dinner, which also was so, so good. We had some like British English classics and overall, I have to say it was the best day of my life so far. And I am just so grateful for Alan that I found a guy that literally knows me to the core and he did everything so amazing. I forgot to ask Alan this while he was on camera, but was he nervous? And yes, he was. It just went straight over my head. I had no clue. Like before we went down the elevator after breakfast, his palms were absolutely sweaty. And I just like was like, oh, we're a little high up. He doesn't love heights. I was like, oh, you're nervous. It's a glass elevator. Like you could see all the way through. And even like the week leading up to it, because it was right in the middle of our London trip, he kept saying he kept getting like stomach knots and he was like nervous, excited, but like definitely nervous. And like anytime that would happen would like distract me. And I was just so in awe of London that I had no like inkling that he was nervous at all or that like anything was really happening. Like I was saying, I had kind of an intuition that it might have happened in London, but I still was very much surprised. And like when we were walking up and it was happening, like had the smallest inkling. And the moment that he pulled out the last letter and it was blank, like I knew and just the realization. And as he started talking and I started crying and guys, it was just so perfect. But I'm excited to bring you guys along on kind of like the wedding planning process and stuff now, because I'm definitely one of those girls that's kind of always dreamed about my wedding yep. and like yep. all that. So we'll be bringing you guys on a little bit behind the scenes, but I guess this is kind of the intro almost into like our our wedding series yeah, a little bit. And I'm really interested to see it too, because throughout the, our years of dating, we've never really seen this side of Vanessa. She's always talked about how she's been excited to one day get married and what a wedding will be like, but she's never really showed me what her vision has been and I'm pretty easy going, so I'm really just excited to be in the process to work together and make it a wonderful day, so. Yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sure this video was a little bit all over the place because obviously I can't really plan a proposal video, but I feel like you did a good job filming and like your little thank snippets you. were great, yeah. so. Thank you.
Uh, but I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Bye.